welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a video for you today. I'm going to go over my travel laundry kit and my travel first aid kit that I have put together. Um, but first from the sponsor of this video, level eight, I want to show you the new luggage I'm going to try to pack in. I say try because it's small and we'll see, but you know, it's technically carry on size for US based major airlines but you really have to check now because all the different airlines are coming with different size luggage but this is a standard luggage 38 liter free loop carry-on luggage um, I'm looking at the tag here I can't remember the dimension so we're gonna look it up I think it's 22 inches could be 21 questionable it's small all right, it comes with luggage protection, which I think is pretty darn fantastic. Obviously, I have directions and things. I haven't used this yet. So it does come with, you know, your paperwork. It gives you your specifics. It tells you how to set the lock on the side. There is freewheeling dynamics here. I love the freewheeling here. I use these regularly, this brand. The handle comes up and down, it stows away so it's flush. You have a handle here, and then you have this handle here that comes out because this is a very vintage vibe. Now, on the side, if you've noticed, there's no zipper. No zipper. So you have your locking mechanism here. On this one, I would definitely recommend utilizing this because just turning that little knob opens it up into your main luggage compartment. Now, what we have over on this side, we have this zipper, oops, excuse me, this zipper pouch here, which is like um, pretty heavy duty gray, kind of a rubbery plastic, but it's gonna be watertight or water resistant. Over here, you have a compartment with a mesh socks and undies for sure and then this one here has a little different there's not the um, snaps or hook there's a hook not a snap that opens up this side it's all soft in here and this is your side that doesn't have any um, interference with the luggage handle and then this, it does have a little give, but it doesn't adjust. You just clip it on. There's some elastic involved. So you're not going to get any compression on this side, which is fine. I'll go over this in a minute. And then, oops, over on, I'm telling you, these wheels run smooth. Over on this side, you have a Velcro compression setup, but it also unhooks slides. This is a free, it's not attached. There's a metal frame to it. Obviously it has a zipper with the mesh. You can put your clothes in here, use this as your compression. You would take this here, unzip it, come up into that hook and then pull it down. So you have two full sides. This side does have a little bit of interference with your handle. There's, you know, your channels, they run down. Um, I love it. I love the whole brand. I Like I said, I've used them multiple times. It is pretty fantastic. It weighs, this one weighs, I think, seven pounds, which is not your lightest luggage, but it is definitely durable luggage. And then it also comes with, on this one, some of them came with TSA approved locks, but this one comes with matching luggage tag in the brown or camel color you know just your standard luggage tag with the emboss level eight i highly recommend utilizing a luggage tag but that comes with your luggage i'm for the reasonable price durable quality i think this is a fantastic luggage this is shiny so i don't know how scratch resistant it's going to be my other one has um a texture to it but I love this. 
I love the vintage feel to this. This is also soft clothes, so it's not gonna stay out and get broken. Your wheels are 365 degree spin. Um, it does come with some plastic protection on it, which also lets me think it might not be scratch resistant, but it might be, I don't know, I didn't read. So that's the luggage that I wanted to show you, the level eight. Let me pull out my kits and I will show you my luggage. No, my laundry and my first aid that are gonna fit into a carry-on size luggage because I'm gonna try to pack light. Okay, let's start with my laundry kit. I purchased this bag on Timu, I think, but it's just a little mesh. I wanted something that the air could flow through. These would also be great for your bar shampoo and your bar soap so they get dry. I will get that. Okay, so for my laundry, you have some options. I got this. It's a single Tide Pod from my dermatologist. It's free and gentle. Can 100% use that. Throw it in your luggage. Hi, Luna. Um, if you want some scent beads. So if you're going someplace that has laundry, a laundry facility, like washer dryer, I would highly recommend packing. Even if it's a laundromat, you just don't know what you're going to find for Hi, Luna. What you're going to find for your laundry care, for, you know, stuff. So I would just say throw a sample and if you use scent beads or whatever. Um, always, always, always I travel with stain wipes. These are from the Dollar Tree and they work fantastic. They're a little large to fit in here, but that's okay. I leave these in my um, purse anyway, but I always pre-treat. If I'm going to hand wash something or even use a, a unknown washing machine, I pre-treat. So if I have a stain or something or coffee, whatever, pre-treat. So I keep those with me. And then I always have my downy wrinkle release. This is a travel size through three fluid ounces. Um, moving forward, what I'll do is buy a big one and this refill this to go. So it is TSA approved. It just takes up that much space, but I'm gonna be places this summer that may not have a dryer or don't have a washer dryer and don't have an iron. So wrinkle release. It also has some Febreze effect to it. So freshens your clothes. Definitely need that. So what do I carry in this little pouch? I have in here, these are camp soap from Coleman. What I like about this very specific brand from Coleman, it is unscented, no moisturizers, nothing. It's just soap. And you get 50 sheets. You can use this for dishes, hands, whatever. I have tried it out. I wash a couple cups and it works perfect. I filled my sink, threw a couple sheets in, zhuzhed it up, washed my coffee cup out, and it worked out perfect. No funky taste, feel, no, you know, no slip that you would get with a hand soap that has um, moisturizers in it. So I got this on Amazon. You can probably get it at Walmart. It's Coleman brand and it's camp soap. It's the only one I've ever found that, um, doesn't have a scent or fragrance. The other thing you can do, if you find solid um, Dr. Bonner's, which is just Castile soap, they have a little essential oil in it. You can shave that bar with, like with a vegetable peeler and put it in a baggie and take that as well. I just happened to find these. Um, for hanging up anything that I hand wash, I'm gonna bring four of these from the Dollar Tree. They're just little convenient clips. They can hang on hooks. They can hang on hangers. You can hang them wherever. And if I'm doing pants or a shirt or something, I can use these to hang it up to dry. So I figure four will be enough for two items. I did purchase online some sink suds. This is Tide sink suds. Honestly, it's liquid Tide in a pre-measured 4.5 mil or 0.15 ounce. It's just pre-measured Tide. You can totally pre-measure it yourself. I like that it is not going to open on me. It's, I have three sink loads that I can do because I figure white shirts, dark shirt, whatever, extra, if I need to hand wash anything. I just appreciate the pre-measured, but 
A Tide Pod will do the same thing. You can pierce it and just squeeze a little bit into your sink. So either way, these are just convenient. I also pack a sewing kit. This is one from, again, Timu. I have no hope that those scissors will ever work, which is fine, but I have tweezers. I have different color threads, needles, safety pins, needle threader, and a button. I believe there's a button in here. Yes, a couple buttons. All you need for a travel kit. It's small, any little travel size. It was a buck 99. I don't have, like I said, I don't have hope on the scissors, but it doesn't matter. I liked this kit for the size. And then what happens is the whole little kit comes out. You do what you want. Your thread is on a little spoolie. Your buttons are here. So if you lose a button, get a tear, anything, you never know on the go. I always like to have that with me. And then also I will put in here, I don't know if I can squeeze one of these in here maybe. Oh yeah, they fold in half. I definitely am not gonna get my Tide to go in here and I'm not traveling with Tide Pods. Or I may bring the gain and just when I do the rinse of the clothes, rinse it in some gain. But this is all I need to do, oh, I, I will throw a little sponge in here to do my cups because that soap will work for my coffee cup. So I'm just zhuzhing it all back together. And this is literally my entire to-go laundry. I have a couple stain wipes, detergents, all the things. And if push come to shove, this camp soap will work to get wash your shirt if you need to. And that's only if you need to wash something in the sink. If you're going someplace that doesn't have that does have a washer and dryer, you don't need to bring that. I probably would, but you don't need to. All right, next up, first aid. Medical first aid kind of emergency situation. I am missing some Band-Aids, but they will go in here eventually. I did purchase this on Amazon, Timu, somewhere. It's a little medicine holder. This is not part of my first aid. I will just put medicine in here. Not my daily medicine, but um, Sudafed, ibuprofen, definitely some anti-diarrheals because you just don't know. And I, the, where most places you go, most cities, the water is fine. Your body's not used to it. And so it can react differently. So I always bring some anti-diarrheals, some um, Benadryl maybe, just some basic Pepto-Bismol Tums situation just to have um, and just a small enough supply that will get me what I need until I can get to a pharmacy or something. Um, so I will always just have that full. And then in the same vein, I bring like hydration. So if I get a stomach bug, I want some electrolytes. So I just bring a pack or two of like liquid IV, which works well, any type of or an element or any type of a Gatorade. And for me, it's important because I am diabetic. So finding sugar-free drink um, options was not easy for me in Europe. The last few times that I've been there, like Gatorade, Powerade, anything with electrolytes. So I just pack a couple of these. If I were to get some type of stomach distress, make sure I have what I need. And it doesn't take that much space. Now, this is a another packet what it looks like. Honestly, you could use it as a little wallet too. I know I got this on Timu, just a mesh little bag. It will definitely hold a credit card. But I have a first aid kit built into this. And like I said, I have some band-aids that need to go in. So I rated, don't tell, I rated the first aid kit at my part-time job to get a few things like some skin glue in case I get a cut. Skin glue is fantastic or a cracked finger. And then I don't know if I need all this, I have just tossed it in here, but I have burn gel, um, two antibiotic ointments, and this is all you need, like really, again, just enough to get you. Um, hydrocorto hydrocortisone or steroid cream, bug bites, things like that. Um, oh, triple antibiotic. Oh, I have four of those. Okay, so I don't need four, I'll just bring two. So I'll take some of those out. Uh, Biofreeze, I got these actually at Sam's Club. They were a sample and the guy let me have two. And again, you pull a muscle, you hurt yourself. Biofreeze is fantastic to have. And then there was a couple in my, I grabbed one out of the first aid kit. 
So I have three little bio freezes, another burn gel. I don't need all of these. I just have them in here. I will pare this down. Uh, Band-aids, I have some hydrocolloid band-aids, which are rubber, they stretch, They, if you get blisters, which let's be honest, when you're traveling, the most thing you're gonna deal with is blisters. The hydrocolloids stay on, they're waterproof, they're a little better than just your standard mesh band-aid. So, and I got them at the Dollar Tree. I will throw a few of those in here. And then for medicine, I have that kit, but I also have these. So I brought a Mucinex and a Dayquil, just in case somebody catches a cold. Again, it's enough for somebody to have one dose of something until we can get to, till we can get to a pharmacy. And then some Benadryl packets. I got these at the Dollar Tree. They have lots of like little packets of stuff. Check your expiration. These are only good until October, but that's fine. These are a just in case thing. I have a hard time with Benadryl. Um, if you suffer from restless leg syndrome, like I do, Benadryl is a trigger for that. So use sparingly, unfortunately. So you kind of have to decide, do you want restless legs flaring or do you want to not itch? I don't know, it's up to you. You gotta make that decision on the fly. I also always bring with me Dramamine because I am a motion sick kind of gal. Like as an adult, as I get older, it gets worse. When I take a flight, I automatically just take one. If I'm gonna be on public transport, on a bus, oh Lord, on a bus. So I plan to have one for every day. They do work 12 to 24 hours. This is eight tablets. This is less drowsy. The difference between the full strength and the less drowsy is the amount of medication. So you wanna kind of maybe bring both if you don't know. I know less drowsy works for me because I take it fairly regularly when I'm traveling. So one or two, I have two of these actually. Um, I just like them in this little tube because um, it keeps them protected and they don't crush. This tube has, I think it has the full dose in here. There's eight in here and it's only half full. So what I will do is open up my other one and I will put them, I will fill them both into one tube and then I actually keep this in my purse. That's how much I take it. And then the other thing is sunblock is important. You're gonna be outside a lot. You're gonna, nobody wants a sunburn. So I always wear sunblock on my face, but I also carry a lip balm that has SPF in it. At least a 15. I think this one has a 15. And I wear this pretty regularly um, because nothing is worse than burnt lips. <laughs> it hurts. So that is everything I have for my two little kits that I shall be taking with me um, when I pack my luggage. Both of them will go in my, well, this may go in my carry-on, my little first aid kit, but my la laundry situation will definitely go in with my luggage. And as you can see, it takes up very little space. This I'll put in a zip bag and throw it in my luggage unless I'm carrying on and then it has to go in with your liquids. But none of this is liquid. So it just goes in a tucked into a corner. And now I have the option with me to be able to hand wash some things in the sink if I miscalculate my underwears or my socks or I spill coffee down the front of me, which is definitely not out of the realm. Um, but yeah, so I have my own little laundry kit, just toss it in there. My I have first aid for myself and for the people I'm traveling with. If anybody, you know, gets sick, gets a cold, we're all gonna be on an airplane for 12 hours. Recycled air. Um, oh, that was the other thing. Get, um, if you find Clorox wipes, Dollar Tree has the little packets. Wipe down your entire seat area. Anything you're gonna touch on that airplane, it doesn't get cleaned as frequently as we would like to believe. And it's all recycled. So there's no fresh air flowing through. So I would definitely, definitely take a Clorox wipe wipe down or Lysol wipe one of either one wipe down the tray table wipe down your armrest anything you plan on touching when you sit down the little lights above you all that wipe it down and then keep your hand sanitizer with you um fun fact hand sanitizer alcohol based does not kill the norovirus which is what causes stomach issues you have to use a different type of cleaner or soap and water. So when you're on an airplane, wash, wash, wash those hands. Don't touch your mouth. You know, all the things. All right, guys. Well, I hope that was helpful. And if you're going on a trip this year, any type of, any trip at all, I hope these were helpful.
All right, guys, I'll talk with you later. Bye.